line with x y line redraw these take projections and draw its front so this is about pentagonal pyramid now cylinder as we know these are the examples of cylindrical shapes cylinder as are very much useful it is having specification like length and radius or diameter water tank is an example of cylinder gas cylinder lpg cylinder or uh, fuel tank petroleum tank the shell of the boiler and carbon dioxide storage or acetylene storage these all are the example of cylindrical shapes now how to draw this cylinder as we know the cylinder is specified by its diameter and height here one cylinder is shown a diameter is 50 mm height is 70 mm it is resting on horizontal plane on a circular face like this and axis makes an angle of 45 degree with horizontal plane so draw xy line that represent intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane draw its axis vertical axis horizontal axis draw a circle of given diameter here diameter is given 50 mm and height is given 70 mm so draw a circle of having diameter 50 mm and draw projection lines from end points and draw a rectangle of given height that is 70 mm so this is diameter of this circle 50 mm and height is 70 mm now here it is given that the axis makes an angle of 45 degree with vertical plane so how to draw this condition so divide this circle into n number of parts you may divide into 8 parts 12 parts 16 parts any number of parts here we have divided into 8 equal parts mind well here equal division should be there that is important the division should be equal n number of division should be there name this division as point number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 after naming these 1 to 8 points take projections from all these points 1 days 1 2 3 4 5 6 and name 1 days 2 days 3 days 4 days 5 days 6 days 7 days and 8 days on the front view here i have taken upper face of the cylinder and named them as a 1 2 8 <laughs> so in top view it will appear as a 1 2 8 in front view it will appear as like this now here it is given that the front view or the axis makes an angle of that uh, 45 degree with horizontal plane so we have to tilt this front view such that it makes an angle of 45 degree with horizontal plane like this this is the axis axis makes an angle of 45 degree with horizontal plane so just i have redrawn its front view which still which is tilted at an angle of 45 degree with xy line mark the points 1 days 2 days 3 days 4 days 5 days 6 days 7 days and 8 days over here from its front view locate the points now to take projections of this top view now to draw this top view again do similar exercise what we did in the earlier cases vertical lines from one days horizontal line from point 1 that will intersect at point number 1 vertical line from point 2 horizontal line from point 2 days 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 so these are the points of intersection now here this a b c d uh, this 1 2 3 up to 8 point is towards our side so this circular face would be fully visible to us and hence all these points a b c 1 2 3 up to 8 should be joined with a smooth curve with a solid line like this then do similar exercise for this bottom face 1 2 this bottom face one day uh, a b c d or one day two days whatever we can name it draw vertical lines from all these points horizontal lines from all these points join them with a dotted line because this bottom face is not visible from top view bottom face will be hidden over here so join them with a dotted line 
but outside line are never dotted in any case always outside lines are fully visible so here in this case this is outside line say this one so it will be fully visible so join them with a full line and this face which is inside over here this will not be visible so we have drawn this line by a dotted line right so upper face is visible that is this face is it is fully visible this face is partially visible this inner portion is not visible so join them with a dotted line so this is the case of given condition now third case another problem of this similar cylinder cylinder diameter is given 50 mm height is given 70 mm and it is resting on hp on its periphery of its base it is resting on its periphery of its base and the axis inclined at 30 degree to horizontal plane similar exercise we have to do over here which we performed earlier draw its top view as a circle front view as a rectangle tilt this front view at a an given angle that is 30 degree draw projections from front view draw its top view now third step for third step as i told you earlier we should think about the condition with vertical plane here it is given that it its axis makes an angle of 45 degree with vertical plane so we have to redraw this top view at an angle of 45 degree with xy line right because here it is given that the axis makes an angle of 45 degree with vertical plane always we should take care about this redraw this front this top view at an angle of 45 degree then take projections with the similar exercise which we did earlier take vertical lines from all these points horizontal lines from all these points join them with a with the smooth curve now how will we decide which face is fully visible and which face is partially visible now come to here here this face bottom face named as 1 to 8 this is towards us and this face is towards xy line so face which is towards xy lines is not visible and the face which is away from xy line it is fully visible so here this face is away from xy line so it will be fully visible join them with a smooth curve with a full line and this face which is nearer to xy line join them with a dotted line this a dash b dash c dash up to h dash after joining them these points with a dotted line think about outside line these are the outside line this curve is outside curve join them with a smooth curve with a straight line or smooth curve and it will be a full line it will not be a dotted line so these are the three stages now fourth solid that is cone we all are very much aware about conical shape especially children which who likes ice cream the cone of ice cream itself is a conical shape the hat of joker which is uh, generally used in birthday parties that is conical in shape these trees are having conical shapes no entry boards these you might have seen everywhere that is having a conical shape this is a conical shape cup of ice cream this upper portion that is only having conical shape now how to draw this cone as we know the cone means it is having the diameter and height the diameter of cone is its specification and height is its specification suppose here one case is given a cone is given with some high diameter and height so first of all we assume that the cone is resting on horizontal plane on its circular base so first of all draw x y line that represent intersection of horizontal plane and vertical plane then draw a circle below x y line which represents the top view of this cone then draw projections from this points mark here point at a distance of 60 mm because the height of this cone is 60 mm and join these points 
draw projection line and join this apex point with these points and complete this triangle. So this triangle is a front view of given cone which is having height 60 mm and some diameter. Now here it is given that the axis of this cone makes an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane. So this axis makes an angle, this is the axis which makes an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane. So tilt this triangle in such a way that this axis makes an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane like this. Now this angle is 30 degree and redraw this triangle, this angle is given to us. After redrawing this triangle, now to take the projections of this cone, divide this circle into equal number of parts, take the projections from respective points, draw these projections in top view as well as in front view and name these points with a whichever name you can give, 1 days, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days, 5 days, 6 days or whichever convenient to you. Now mark these points, relocate these points over here, mark this point at a similar distance what is given over here, these points. Now take projections from this front view and top view, from this front view draw vertical lines, from this top view draw horizontal lines and locate these points. 8 points are here, 1 point is here. This is an apex point, vertical line from point from this apex point, horizontal line from this apex point, this is another point. Now join these points with a smooth curve. Now think about the visibility of this point. If I am looking from top side, this apex point is visible, this slant edge is visible to me and hence this bottom face will not be visible to me. It will be invisible because that face is towards below side and join these with a straight line and join them with a full line right but now again here this is the outside line so join these outside lines with a full curve or solid line and join them like this so this is the case which is given over here 30 degree with xy with horizontal plane so front view makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line this is similar case angle with HP is given 30 degree or 35 degree and angle with VP is given. Similar analogy you have to employ over here which we employed earlier. Draw top view, front view, tilt at given angle, draw front view, take projections, tilt this top view at certain given angle, take projections. So I hope it would be clear to you how to draw these all conditions. Now some strong tips which you should follow when you uh, take any problem of projections of solids. First tip, first assume that the axis is perpendicular to that plane, right? Suppose it is given that the axis makes an angle of 40 degree, 45 degree with horizontal plane, forget it. Think that it is perpendicular to that plane. So, suppose if it is given, the angle with HP is given, draw top view first and front view after that. If it is given that perpendicular to VP or makes an angle of certain degree with VP, draw front view first. Generally top view is drawn first because angle with HP is given. Then change the position of view to the given inclination. Suppose 35 degree or 30 degree or 45 degree with HP is given, tilt that view at given angle. Then after project from view to get final view. Take projections as we did earlier and you take care about this point as well. Name the points with lower case letters say small a small b and mark dash point in front views and no dash point in top view. Right? For example a dash in front view and a in top view and in first angle projection method we will always draw front view above xy line and top view below xy line. With this I would like to conclude my today's session so in short we have discussed about four kinds of solids that is prism, pyramid, cylinder and cone. Four solids we have discussed. So in, in short whenever any solid is given to us the analogy which will, we will employ that will similar in all the cases. Just the thing is that first we have to take which kind of solid is given. If it is a cylinder 
top view will be circle if it is a prism top view will be uh, a given polygon it may be pentagon or hexagon if it is a cone top view will be circle will be circle if it is a pyramid front view will be triangle if it is a cylinder front view will be rectangle like this after giving this after deciding the condi given condition we should think about the first step angle with hp is given or angle with vp is given if angle with vp is given then we should draw front view first and top view afterward here all the problems which we take on in those cases always it was given that the angle with hp was given now angle with vp to draw those problems you do the exercise uh, for the similar cases in the reverse manner first draw front view then draw top view then the fundamentals will be clear to you again i am very much thankful to all of you for listening me carefully and wish you all the best for your future for this mechanical drafting thanks to all of you